sharing this monumental moment for us. <laughs> anyway, uh, this is going to be a very special day. Uh, we've had numerous members of our family that have been called to serve, and, uh, and they have donated two years of their lives or more, and on numerous occasions have made quite sacrifices to serve the Lord in spreading His Word and, and uh, teaching His Gospel. And we want to take this opportunity today to uh, recognize them in, in so doing. Uh, in doing this and making our presentations, there's going to be some of our missionaries that are not able to be here today. If there's a family member who would like to receive their thank you, uh, would you please come up and uh, receive their uh, award uh, when their name is called? If no one is here to receive that award and it's left behind, what we'll do is we'll place it in a box and we'll have it here so that later on we'll see to it that uh, they uh, receive their uh, uh, folder. Uh, at this particular time, I would like to say thank you to our bagpipers. Uh, 
Would uh, you two like to come forward here for just a minute? We have a little presentation for you folks. family uh, press and uh, we present it to you with honor <coughs> and thank you for your presence. <laughs> also at this time I'm going to invite Uncle Dick to come up and he's going to share a few missionary moments and he's just leaving me. Yeah, he'll be back. So, uh, We'll get uh, ready. We'll go ahead and, uh, Megan, if you would like to uh, do our uh, next song, which would be uh, called The Serve. I believe that's what it is. Yes. Where did she go? Yeah. <laughs> Call The Serve. Did you want him first? Now he's back. Yeah. <laughs> he's on the march. I think he needed a hat. Yes, it's going to be a little bit warm today, and uh, so we'll appreciate your patience in, in, in uh, doing this. Uh, Uncle Dick, we would like to turn the time over to you now to catch us up on some missionary moments. That's what it says on the back. Back up, back up, they said they didn't have to. Go ahead and do your thing, man. We'd like to come up and join with us. So, turn it on. They should come up and help us sing. It's your little short. Come on. Is there a mission for us? Is there a mission? Hi there. There's some here too. I stand over here on the What?
That's kind of impressive when your call our listener is up to uh, sing their song and the audience empties out and it's kind of incredible to see that number of uh, missionaries here. Uncle Dick, don't you be sitting down on me now. I just need to give that time to take your sweetheart back to her chair. Now it's your turn. Can you hear me in the back all right? We're good. Okay. Now, first thing I want to do, I I want our, I was going to say oldest, but I wouldn't dare do that, but our first missionary out, Gordon, would you come forward, please? <laughs> And, uh, and our newest missionary, where is our newest missionary? Come on, get up here, get sister. This is, well, she hasn't got the FTC yet. She didn't go to the FTC until next Wednesday. This is Natalie Rosewall. Let's hear it for Or say, Pat and said we could hug until she gets there. <laughs> Gordon went into the mission field several months before my sister Ruth. So she, he really is the first missionary of our family. And the latest missionary of our family is Sister Roseball. Let's give him a good hand. Isn't that neat? Well, this is uh, kind of nostalgia time. And when you get, uh, I just had a lot of memories come back to me here in the last little while. I've been reminiscing here since I've been up here this year. I told Roger the trees have grown 10 feet since I was here last year. The grass, of course, is more than that. <laughs> but when you get my age, that's about all that's left is a little reminiscing. And that's what I've been doing mostly. But who would have thought two years ago when we assembled here to see and experience what we're feeling today? It was just two years ago that we finished honoring the 37 missionaries that are represented by these small flags over here. And we were basking in what a great experience that was. And I remember a lot of us were gathered by the ranch house there, and I had the, the uh, pedigree chart out there, and, and it was all growing out what it was. And then Evelyn, bless her soul, said, wouldn't it be nice if we honored the missionaries the same way? And then Andrea, who was standing nearby, says, yeah, we ought to do that, and we also ought to put, get a big map and put a bunch of pins in it to show where they all are. And then pretty soon some more things happened, and anyway, it took on the life of its own at that time. And then the project uh, soon became known as the Legacy Project. Now, well, strangely strange enough, enough, before we before left, we left the ranch the that day, that two years ago, two years ago there was a representative from each of the seven families, families uh, there was 102 missionaries that were at least identified. They did not identify the location, but 102 were identified at that point. And so we were really... And so we were really... Look around this place. Really. We were at the ranch house with our daughter Therese with the toddler. That would be 1950. And most of us remember riding around the ranch with Grandpa driving the cart with horses on it, not a tractor. <laughs> he just shuddered when he thought tractor. Dad, Grandpa always worked with the horses. And Grandma always used to sit on the tailgate, and whoever had the smallest little baby, she would be hanging on to him. And then how many of you remember Grandpa fe uh, feeding the fish here in the small pond? He used to really thrill. He had a 10-gallon milk can out here with the fish bait in it, or fish food. And he would brought that out there, and the water would just boil as the fish that he found would come out to eat it. And I wonder how many of the grandchildren remember the day the raft broke up out here in the little pond, and a whole bunch of grandchildren 
waded back through the muck and mud back over here, squealing and wet as it can be. You know, destiny is really quite a thing. How inspired was Grandma and Grandpa anyway? By this ranch in the first place. What do you think that they could see in their mind's eye what the day is like? I firmly believe they could. And I believe they are. And I believe they can see us now along with the rest of our departed kin. And they're cheering us on. I wonder also how many of your grandchildren now remember riding out into the pasture with Grandpa to pick out the calf that was going to be yours. And then after you picked out the calf that was going to be yours, you said, turn to Grandpa and said, Grandpa, will you raise it and then give me the money? <laughs> and of course, 34 all had a calf. But I really do feel the how, how proud they were and how proud they are still. Especially of the extended family that joined us. And I remember Kathleen and Chuck telling me the day that Grandpa put the order around them and said, you know, I'm so glad that most of my grandchildren may have returned to missionaries. And that's been true, and it's just, he just felt, he just so, felt so proud of everybody. Uh, I'd like you to study it uh, when you get a chance to chart. You don't have to present the missionary heritage for the lady and family. And this service, and this service and all these 69 all these 69 flags represented for the old Flags represent the 116 missionaries on the main street. Had us all saying, "Many lives, many cultures, many friends, friends, friends for themselves, for the church." If you ask any return missionary, missionary, I bet you want a grandma silver dollar. Grandma silver dollar. But she'll tell you it was harder to be home from the mission than it ever was to leave on a mission. Never was to leave on a mission. I know it always was for us. I know it always was for us. It was just so hard to leave the mission field. And I want you to understand how important these annual meetings are made down through the years. How important these annual meetings are made down minute. through the years. Most of you, think about it for a minute. Were even born. Most of you, <coughs> when Grandpa bought the ranch. Were even born. Six when Grandpa years. bought the ranch. How do you remember standing in line with your family, with Grandpa sitting underneath one of the trees, with a little bit of silver dollars? And as you mm -hmm. came up, raise your hand and you to see the silver dollar. Well, you got great. You got great. And how surprised you really were when Grandma even knew your name. Grandma knew every, every name, name of her children, children her grandchildren, her grandchildren, great grandchildren. Not only that, Not only that I think, I think the ones that were going to have children going to have told children Grandma before they ever told their parents. So one of the Grandma was never with the That's why you see the numbers on the pedigree chart back there. Because that was Grandma. How many in the ranch know that the ranch itself played a great role in the baptizing of the conversion of the family? The guard of the men were fellowshipping when they were stationed on Fort Sill, Oklahoma. Mark writes in his missionary story about how Jerry and Jeannie, no back, came to the ranch with him when they came home on furlough in 1974 and then had the ranch here. And of course, uh, Jerry and Jeannie and their family also received one of Grandma Bird's silver dollars. <laughs> now, Mark goes on to say that he accepted the gospel, the no rags to it, and Mark baptized him. And since that time, uh, Brother uh, Novak, Jerry, has been a bishop twice. And his son Gary was one of the first ones to open a mission in St. Petersburg, Russia. How the it just kind of keeps coming, doesn't it? Amazing. I'm sure you know that the faith this year and salute the legacy of our family. But I don't mean to infer, I suppose, that 116 missionaries. It's great for us, but there are probably others, and I know there are, have many more than that, or even as many. 
In fact, our uh, Uncle Emery White family uh, has, I'm sure, many more than that. But they have a much larger family. These flags represent 36 states, 33 countries that are family members of serve the missionaries. Now, it's only the beginning. When you have a chance to look at the pedigree chart a little closer over there, and look at all the little Israel and my stickers sticking on those. Each of those represent a missionary for the LDS Church. And then I want you to look around some more because there's two more missionaries there that you may not have noticed that are Protestant missionaries that belong to the family, in Glenn's family. And they're serving, well, I won't tell you, you'll have to find out where they're serving. But they've been serving and have them for some time. You can also tell. If you look under your name, the color of your number tells you the pain of arm that the Lord has been serving missions. But I want all of those that remember what their, their color is yellow. Yellow is the new generation that is getting ready to go out now. And I want you to go back there and the parents especially look at all of those. There was uh, 142 pink numbers there. There are 188 yellow, and Isla tells me and I've put up six babies that haven't been born yet, and I, she came to me today and says there's at least two or three more. And these 200 yellow stickers on that pedigree chart is the new generation of missionaries. But a pocket of them for just a second. They you were the yellow stickers out of responsibility and opportunity to extend God my grandma's heritage by serving the people and living worthily to serve the mission in your call. And I think when Grandma Bird was placing those silver dollars in your hot little hands, <laughs> that she was saying a private prayer for you. No. And she was uh, uh, gathered, uh, as we gather here to honor them for her example of having the wisdom and the foresight to buy this ranch. And acquire this haven, this refuge, this ranch so many years ago. Now our grandparents were not the only ones who had foresight and vision about where we stand today as a church and a family. March 1842, just 12 years after the church had organized with the Saints in Nauru, the product Joseph Smith received a request from the editor of the Chicago Democrat. His name was John Wentworth. And he was acting on behalf of one of his clients by the name of George Barstow, who was writing a history about New Hampshire. Wentworth wanted the prophet to write a letter outlining the history and objectives of the Latter-day Saint movement up to this time. The prophet agreed to do so. Two very important things came out of that Wentworth letter. Not one familiar to us all, and the other would be unique only to the missionaries. Of course, the first one is the Articles of Faith. That's part of the Wentworth letter. The other is somewhat different, and it explained the mission and standard of truth that the prophet would be sharing and sending to the world for us. Now, as I read this portion of the Wentworth letter, I want everyone to visualize in your mind two things. First, think of the times, 1842, where we were in the church at that time, and what the United States and the world was like. Remember, by 1842, we had been driven out of Kirtland. We had been driven out of Missouri. We were about to be driven out of Nauvoo, and the prophet was thinking very seriously that we would soon have to move even further west. So I want you to visualize, second, Visualize the large world map of the ranch house with those little numbered pins in it. And especially all those empty spaces where there are, our family is yet to serve in. Now that doesn't mean there aren't missionaries there. There are many missionaries in uh, Russian areas and Africa and other areas. Just as we heard about uh, uh, Elder Novak, or Elder Novak, who was served, uh, serving in uh, Russia. And there are many there. But keep in mind as you visualize this, what the prophet was seeing in his mind what was going on today. And to uh, this is what the prophet is in vision. What, we used to recite this portion of the Wentworth letter in all of our district, and mission conferences. 
and it shows the confidence the prophet had in what the missionary effort would be like in the latter days. And this is what he wrote, 1842. Our missionaries are going forth to different nations, the standard of truth is in the record. No one held ground can can stop the work from progressing. Persecutions may raise, mobs may combine, armies may assemble, calumny may be found, but the truth of God will go forth boldly, nobly and independent till it has penetrated every continent, visited every clime, swept every country, and sounded in every ear, till the purpose of God shall be accomplished, and the great Jehovah shall say, the work is done. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. Well, Uncle Dick was there talking and about our ancestry and, uh, and whatnot. I couldn't help but think that in the New Testament, the Savior said, If you love me, feed my sheep. He allowed his apostles to ponder on that for just a minute. And he said it again. If you love me, feed my sheep. As you can plainly see, our family has fed a lot of sheep. We've done a lot of chores. Each one of us as individuals are known by him. Each one of us as individuals come in contact with numerous people that notice who we are and see who we are and what we represent. But as Uncle Dick was telling us about that, I couldn't help but think about my fifth generation grandfather, John Davidson Burt. Also thinking in the New Testament in one of the parables. The Savior said that the sins of the fathers will be rested unto their children and to the third generation. That does sound kind of harsh, but but in reality, all things has its opposites, doesn't it? We learn that also in the teachings of our Savior. You think of John Davidson Burke. Albert Burt, Regnold, and Amelia Burt. The goodness in its opposite has now rested unto the third, fourth, fifth, sixth, and coming up seventh generation from John Davidson. Our family has fed a lot of sheep. We have a lot of missionaries to honor today, and so we're going to move along rather rapidly. Choose someone to receive the honor for those who are not here, and we'll move right along. Jim and I will be going pretty fast, and so stand up and come to the different podiums that you'll be going to. One of these young ladies will hold up your folder as your name is called so you know which direction to come. So we'll get started marching, and my son will take charge. Dane Alexander Anderson. California, Los Angeles Mission. Brian James Barlow, South Carolina, Columbia Mission. Lynn Lyman Barlow, Netherlands, Amsterdam Mission. Rachel Barlow, Arizona, Phoenix Mission. Justin Brian Barton, Mexico, Mission. <laughs> I'm glad he got that one. <laughs> Michael Brian Barton. Indiana Annapolis Mission. Albert Todd Bingham. Brazil San Paulo. Interlagos Mission. Bert J. Bingham. Hawaii Honolulu Mission. Hank R. Bingham. Wisconsin Milwaukee Mission. Zeb D. Bingham. 
California, Arcadia Mission. Jacob M. Blackham, Texas, McCallum Mission. Todd Dree Bradford, Brazil, Fort Palaza Mission. Benjamin R. Bird. Brazil, Belo, <laughs> Horizonte. Bridger R. Bird. Oregon Eugene Mission. Brion G. Bird. Philippines. Baccaloid mission. <laughs> By the way, I want to apologize for murdering these. Cole D. Burt. Canada Toronto East Mission. Dennis C. Burt. French Polynesian. <laughs> Evelyn D. Burt. Illinois, Nauvoo Mission. Philippine, Micronesia Mission. New York, New York Mission. North, North Little Rock Mission. Wisconsin, Milwaukee, Salt Lake City Mission. <laughs> Garth C. Burt. Florida Mission. Jennifer H. Burt. Canada, Toronto East Mission. Joanne Burt. Central Germany Mission. Kevin T. Burt. Argentina, Cordoba Mission. Neil D. Burt. Mexico Central Mission. Patrick C. Burt. Guatemala, Guatemala City North Mission. <laughs> Peter M. Burt. Chile, Santiago, West Mission. Richard W. Burt. Illinois, Nauvoo Mission. Philippine, Micronesia Mission. New York, New York North, Little Rock Mission. Wisconsin, Milwaukee Mission. Salt Lake City Mission. Mission. Russell D. Burt. Argentina North Cordoba Mission. Ruth Burt. Spanish American Mission. Ryan G. Burt. Virginia Richmond Mission. Ryan James Burt. Dominican Republic North Mission. Scott R. Burt. Denmark Copenhagen Mission. Artis K. Carion. Japan Sendai Mission. 
Dustin S. Christensen. Dominican Republic, Santiago Mission. Lester R. Dilly. Canada, Calgary Mission. Aaron D. Dunsmore. Canada, Vancouver Mission. Aaron C. Biden. Central American, Colombian, Venezuelan Mission. Gary L. Biden. Germany, Lippenzig Mission. Leland Reg Five. Utah Provo Mission. R. Scott Five. Reg Scott Five. Korea. Fusion Mission. Evan R. Fisher. Hungary, Budapest Mission. <laughs> e. Regnold Fisher. Maryland, Baltimore Mission. <laughs> e. Ronald Fisher. Germany, Dresden Mission. Eldon Ray Fisher. Missouri Independence Mission. Micah Borsring. Korea Seoul Mission. Kim D. Foster. Japan, Japan Tokyo, Tokyo South, South, Mission. South Mission. Clark. Clark T. Funk. Mexico, Mexico Tijuana, Tijuana, Tijuana Mission. Eric, Eric Gale, Gale, Godfrey. Godfrey. Canada, Toronto, Canada, Toronto West, West Mission. Barbara, Barbara, B. Hawks. B. Hawks. Hawaii, Hawaii, Reserve, Reserve Natural, Resources. Natural Resources Mission. Boyd, Boyd B. Hawks. B. Hawks. Tennessee Nashville Mission. E. E. Lee Hawks. Hawaii. Hawaii Reserve, Reserve Natural, Resources Natural Resources Mission. Raleigh Mission. Kenneth. Kenneth B. Hawks. B. Hawks. Montana, Montana Billings, Billings, Billings Mission. Michael, Michael H. Hunsaker. H. Hunsaker. Spain, Spain, Seville Mission. Seville Mission. Roy, Roy F. Hunt. Scottish Mission. Scottish Mission. Misty, Misty Wong. Utah, Salt Utah, Lake, Salt Lake, Lake Square, Temple Square Mission. Mission.
Ryan, Ryan S. Keller. S. Keller. Germany, Germany, Düsseldorf, Düsseldorf, Düsseldorf mission. Gary, Gary M. Lester. M. Lester. Lifetime, Lifetime, Australia, Australia. Sherry Burt Lester. Lifetime, Australia. Colin. Look how? Portugal, Portugal Lisbon, Lisbon, South, South Mission. Mission. Douglas G. Miller. Austrian Mission. Heidi L. Miller. Troy B. Miller. Clinton W. Minor. Troy went to the Canadian Halifax mission. Clinton Miner went to the Nebraska Omaha mission. David B. Miner. Southern Far East mission. Dustin D. Miner. Evan G. Dustin Miner was uh, New York, New York, New York mission. Evan G. Miner. East Central States mission. Gordon B. Miner. Spanish American, the North, New York, New York, North mission. Kathleen Miner. Scottish Mission. Conda Joe Miner. Tennessee Nashville Mission. Lloyd B. Miner. Philippines Mission. Mary Miner. Brazilian South Mission. Reed E. Meyer. Chile Atofagasa Mission. Ryan J. Meyer. Spain, Madrid. Tyler B. Meyer. Honduras to Guadalupe mission. Wesley B. Minor. Argentina, Buenos Aires, North Mission. Woodrow D. Minor. Colorado, Denver, South Mission. Afton McGarth Minor. Swiss Austrian and New York, New York, North Vision. Amber E. Nelson. 
Nebraska Omaha Mission. Christian M. Nelson. Mississippi Jackson Mission. Mark R. Perini. Italy Millen Mission. Brent L. Pearson. Texas San Antonio Mission. Brian B. Pearson. Texas Houston Mission. David R. Pearson. Philippines, Nagata Mission. <laughs> John P. Pearson. <laughs> Japan, Tokyo South Mission. Kevin H. Pearson. England, Leeds Mission. Robin R. Pearson. Mexico Central Mission. Roger R. Pearson. Wisconsin, Milwaukee Mission. Jeremy B. Rampton. Nevada, Las Vegas Mission. Christopher J. Rawlings. Canada, Vancouver Mission. Boyd W. Ricks. California, Arcadia Mission. Mallory D. Ricks. Denmark, Copenhagen Mission. Charles W. Robbins, Scottish Fisher. Danny Robbins, Dominican Republic, Santo Domingo Mission. Edward B. Robbins, Chile, Santiago North Mission. Gary G. Robbins. Guatemala City South Mission. Nancy J. Robbins. Philippines, Quezon City Mission. Richard W. Robbins. Oklahoma Mission. Robert C. Robbins. Florida. Tandy Mission. William M. Robbins. Ecuador. Quanqua North Mission. Eric S. Roosevelt. Nevada, Las Vegas Mission. Natalie Roosevelt. Utah, Salt Lake South Mission. Terry K. Roosevelt. Brazil, South Mission. Mitchell Shuck. Colorado, Denver Mission. D. James Snyder. Utah, Salt Lake City Mission. 
Stephanie Stitt. Denmark, Copenhagen, Mission. David G. Thompson. Nebraska, Omaha, Mission. Carol Beth Tyler. East Central States, Mission. Michael J. Vang, British South Mission. Whitney C. Ward, Arizona Tempe Mission. Aaron Waite, Japan Fukioko Mission. <laughs> Joel G. White. Wait. Wait. England Birmingham Mission. Todd L. Wait. Japan Nagioya Mission. Russell A. Wheeler. Colorado, Denver South Mission. Aaron W. Whitaker. Guatemala, Guatemala City, South Mission. Russell L. Wood. Michigan, Detroit Mission. Oh my gosh, wasn't that something? <laughs> 116 from the Regnal Million Amount family. I want to say thank you for feeding a lot of our Savior sheep and for the influence that you have had. Looks like I've got the closing remarks. The party's about over. What an incredible experience. I would like to thank all of you who have traveled so far. To be here today to share this missionary experience. I would like to ask my granddaughter to come up and she would like to lead the primary children in a song.
Turn it on. Turn it on. I'm coming, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
Give us the benediction. Our Father in heaven, we trust you will. In our hearts this day for the heritage that we have as a family. And for the, the service that has been given by the members of this family to you. We ask that God help us remember this very special occasion. In our hearts always, we will realize the value of service to you. We're thankful for this place to come to enjoy the companionship of the world, the real bands of life. Okay, uh, each one of these flags, as you all know, represents uh, a state or a country in which you serve. Some of these uh, flags represent the missions of more than one person. Would uh, those of you that have served missions in those in those particular places, would you go to the flag and and uh, decide who gets the flag? Because one of you gets the flag. Now, those of you who don't get the flag, don't feel bad because there's going to be a way in which you can. Receive it, you know, get, get your own flag if you so want one, and uh, and we'll work that out. But anyway, these flags are for the missionaries, and so go to the flag in which the country or state which you representative, and then you work it out with those people that are there. Let's go, Rob. Come on, come on, man. Duke it out. Duke it out. That boy's right. Scotland, huh? Huh? Oh, Scotland? Uh -oh. Those went first. How we doing this, Robin? I've already got one too. You're a Birmingham way. Yep. You have a lot of pride in that. No, no, no. Who is the outfit? Who is the Yes, they want to go behind the house by the I just got back from the old buddy. Okay, that's great, yeah. Lynn, you get your own flag. You get two of them. Belgium's over there. You get Belgium also. Do you get Nebraska and Iowa? Or is there? Nebraska. Just Nebraska because there is. He never served in the other states. So, 
I was going to get something to drink. Come on, we've got to turn shoot that way. Well, sir, I just stole your drink. Are you going to take these over there? Yeah. Okay, we'll just take them over there. Donka. Alrighty. How's your baby? Two now. Oh, that's Reggie, isn't it? Oh, that's Reggie. 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 Oh
Where did Reggie go? Reg went to Maryland. <laughs> So you got one, but not the other? Garth got the other one. I like Garth. Who did you get, T? I got it. Brother Jack, me. It's Missouri one. There are any left over? Do you want to go with mommy?